What is up everyone on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of The Backyard. Hope you guys enjoyed that little um, cold start of the Stage 2 2020 WRX. Um, I am currently on my way to work, so I figured let's make a quick little video. I've got 20-30 minutes to kill, because that's how long it takes me to get there. Uh, for those of you wondering, I'm a mechanical engineer at a medical device startup. talking about the Cobb off-the-shelf tunes OTS tunes so as you guys know if you watched my uh, stage one install video and my stage two install video which was a fucking pain in the ass um, I am currently tuned on the OTS stage 2 plus tune um, current mods are a Cobb big SF intake a Cobb padded and resonated J pipe or down pipe, whatever floats your boat, and the AWE track edition cat pack exhaust. And I have little mods here and there, but these are the more power performance uh, type mods, if you will. Um, but, anyways, off the shelf, are they good? Are they bad? Will they kill your car? The answer is yes and no. So, with off the shelf tunes, you have to be very careful. They are not, and this is where I see a lot of people go wrong with these tunes, they are not universal for all car parts. For example, if I have a Cobb Stage 1 Plus tune, I can only run a Cobb Big SF intake. I can't run a Mishimoto, I can't run a Grimspeed. It won't get the proper air to fuel ratio readings uh, at your math, and it's just going to throw off the whole car. It's going to run either really rich, really lean actually really lean for that matter because you're getting a lot of air versus fuel and your car is not uh, programmed to regulate that air and every intake performs differently likewise with stage two um, if you're not running the cop parts your car is going to run really lean and you are going to mess something up and i see this time and time again people run cat j pipes they run a grim speed j pipe with a cop tune and then they start reporting that they have issues. Now that being said, if you read the map notes on all these tunes and you have the proper parts, you put everything together properly, these tunes, while they're not the best, they're not bad either. They get the job done. Stage one plus, what do you get from stage one plus? You get the wish noises from the intake, obviously, little turbo schools. get a more responsive throttle response um, as well as a more linear power band what do I mean by this um, if, if you have a WRX you know what I'm talking about uh, straight out of the factory stock um, your you get the power immediately as soon as you hit the pedal it's it's very weird it's not very linear like you get the power then it's done at the top of your power band whereas with the stage one tune you'll have 50% power. You give 100%, you'll have 100% power. Uh, simple as that. It's very linear and it smooths the power out through the power button. You don't necessarily get more power, it's just more responsive. And you get rid of that second gear rev hang, which is a pain in the ass. Um, it's not 100% gone with a stage one tune, um, but it is definitely a lot better. Um, and you get turbo whoosh with the intake, so why not? Now stage two. Stage two, stage two plus in my case, um, the STI, unfortunately, you cannot do a stage two plus. Um, you would have to remove your intake or go get pro tune so you can keep that intake. With the WRX, you do get that uh, stage two plus. So I'm running both the intake and the J pipe with the cat back, obviously. But the cat back doesn't, doesn't do anything. It's past the catalytic converter. Uh, catalytic converter, if I can talk. Getting on the freeway now, so baby pool.
absolute while downshifting. Now when I'm pushing the car, I get them while I'm upshifting. And it's, it's fucking crazy. It's like gunshots almost. Should I do a pop tune? Hmm. Comment down below if I should get a pop tune and make this shit go crazy. Um, but anyways, what was I saying? Stage two. Yeah, so stage two, you got the J-pipe. In my case, I have the intake at the well, so I get the turbo whooshes and the much better um, power band. Is it extremely crazy powerful? No. Is it a lot more powerful than stage one? Yes. It definitely punches a lot more. Um, you do have to kind of send it to get there. But the throttle response is super responsive. Um, still feel like the stage two plus is slightly conservative for what I want or, and what most people want. And I mean, that's understandable. It's an off the shelf tune want something, if you're getting something off the shelf um, that hasn't been fine-tuned to your car, you don't want something that's going to make your car go crazy. Um, because every car, even if it comes from the same factory, is going to have difference. There's tolerances and all that. Engineering 101. So there might be a car that's at the top of the tolerance, a car that's at the low of the tolerance, and if you push those limits with a tune, something's going to go wrong. And that's where some of these um, you hear some of these stories where off-the-shelf tunes make your car run uh, not as great. Um, and my response to that is, check your access port. Keep monitoring. Put top-tier gas. I always fill up with uh, either Shell or 76, preferably 76, because it's close to me and it's a lot cheaper than Shell, at least where I'm at. Um, but if you run these... these um, top tier gases, uh, you're going to get a lot less uh, feedback knock or fine knock learn and your dam is going to drop a lot less. Um, which comes to my next point. Have I seen my dam drop and have I gotten feedback knock with these OTS tunes? Yes, I have. Has it been drastic crazy? No. Some of it, has it been fake? I presume so. With the stage 2 plus, I've gotten down to negative 2.81 feedback knock, which is normal. If you look at most tuners' websites, negative 1 to 2 is normal driving conditions when you're pushing the car. Um, and th this is all I've seen. With stage 2 plus, my dam has not dropped. It's been a lot smoother than stage 1. Stage 1, my dam dropped a couple times. But I'm not, I wasn't too worried about it because it was during hot days and um, my dumbass was pushing the car a little bit. Um, so that caused me to get a little feedback now because as you all know these cars are susceptible to heat soak on hot days you do not want to be pushing boots like crazy and I learned the hard way but you know you just keep driving the car and eventually it'll do its job it'll get the timing back together and put everything back up to normal so every time I damn drop by it would come right back up within a week or two uh, which is no problem the car still ran great and it's currently running great but yeah, just keep in mind, if you're going to go stage two, and you're going to do the work yourself, those turbo studs are a pain in the fucking ass. You can see right here in this video below. Um, but anyways, why am I going off the shelf? Why, you might ask Brian, why aren't you going uh, Pro Tune? Why haven't you gone to a dyno? I got a real tune. Answer simple. I'm waiting to buy more car parts. I'm playing it the cost efficient tune now and let's say I go get some TGV EGR deletes I gotta pay again to go get tuned obviously it's not gonna be as much because the way it works is you pay uh, depends where you live at but it's like five to seven hundred bucks for the first session and then after that when you start coming back and change mods here and there it's about a hundred bucks per hour uh, on the dyno but that's a hundred bucks I could spend that on some mods um, so currently I have some mods sitting at home I won't tell you what I have yet waiting to collect more stuff. So I want to potentially upgrade my intercooler, TGV ETR deletes, you know, E85 at some point. Um, and I want to get as mo much of those mods in, get a base tune from my tuner so I can drive to the tune shop once I have those mods in, and get Pro Tuned all at once. Uh, it's just the most cost effective way. Um, and I'm planning to do that fairly soon. I'm not going to run this tune I recommend if you're gonna do an off the shelf tune, um, if you're worried, don't run it for too long, just run it for a month or two, maybe three, four months at most. Um, I've heard stories of people running them for years with no problems. Um, I don't suspect I'll have any problems right now. My dam is at one, zero feedback knock, zero fly knock learn. My intake temp is fairly low at 60. Um, it is cold out, um, 
OTS with the Cobb OTS stage one. I would say I was running maybe 220 to 230 wheel horsepower, and stage two, I want to say 240 to 260 wheel horsepower, give or take. Uh, I don't know exact numbers, that's just my guesses. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but then if you go stage two on a Pro 2. Oh, sorry, my voice hella cracked. If you go stage two on a Pro 2, um, I've seen people push 280 to 310 wheel horsepower. And then if you want to go above that, then that's when you got to start thinking about E85 and building your block if you want to go past 400 and whatnot. But right now we are OTS stage two plus. We will eventually get Pro 2. Put them on, huh, babe? Yeah. You know the tacos are fire when they're right next to a gas station. So okay, we're pulling up to Quesabiria Taco Truck and Taco Noa Noa. Stay tuned for some fire ass tacos. Check this out, we got our tacos. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Some delicious birria tacos. Nice and crispy. What you get, honey? Did you get the same thing? Mm -hmm. Oof. And we got the consomme up there, the salsas. About to, about to make it do what it do. Get your limon. Squeeze it in the taco. Mm -hmm. Did I spray you? No, no, no. Torchata's hell again. Oh, the torchata's <laughs> banging? Yeah. Got some horchata. That was a yummy horchata. Some portacho. Green sauce. Always fuck with the green sauce. Check this out. You got your consomme right here, your taco. Grab your taco that has your limon and your green salsa. Dip it in that. Dip it in that birria juice. Mmm. And then. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Y'all jealous? Y'all hear that? It's better than sex. I'm 
getting a divorce prematurely now. <laughs> Cars and tacos. Like a fantasy, I'm living in my dreams I ain't stopping till I reach the top